This morning, Garfield High School in Seattle is going to be operating school online instead of on campus. Yeah, school officials say they're closing the campus out of an abundance of caution due to three recent shootings near the campus. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live near the campus right now with more on what's going on here. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning to you. Yeah, you know, there are concerns about students making their way home after class, and that's part of the reason why they are learning remotely today after everything that's been going on recently. You can see the campus here pretty much empty this morning. There have been issues in the area, none related to students, but they've been serious enough to even cancel those after-school activities, too. So just yesterday, the school principal says they ended the day early and canceled those extracurricular activities out of an abundance of caution due to threats appearing to be related to dismissal time and after school. They sent students home at 2 p.m. and told them to get to a safe location. Now, this was all happening as Seattle police and the SPS safety and security team were investigating and they were in the area as kids were sent home. So today, Garfield and Nova campuses are closed as violence nearby has raised concerns. Students will learn online with a two-hour late start and all after-school evening and weekend activities are canceled. So three shootings have happened nearby, again, not involving students, but SPD says a 19-year-old who wasn't a student was shot near the Garfield Teen Life Center on May 18th, just after 4.30 p.m. It shattered a window, by the way. He survived. Police uh, shared another incident involving a teen shot on May 24th near 26th Avenue in East Jefferson, leaving a bullet hole in a parked car. A juvenile was dropped off at the hospital and was last known to be stable, according to police. And on May 27th, another shooting happened near the Garfield Teen Life Center. SPD says multiple shots were heard by a sergeant and officers found a man shot several times. He was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The cops found a handgun nearby. So now the school district is reminding parents and students that they can report this anytime to the Safe Schools hotline 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And again, today it appears students will be learning from home as they take these precautions. For now, reporting live here at Garfield High School, Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. Well,